Hi, my name is Professor Mack and welcome to my laboratory. Do you know the answer to the question, what is a force? You may think of a force as a push or a pull. It is described by its strength and also its direction. To illustrate forces, we use arrows, but in the physical world you cannot see a force, you can only see the effect of a force. When a force acts on an object, the object will accelerate in the direction of the force if there are no other balancing forces. In this example, the force from the escaping gas accelerates me in my cart in the direction of the force. When the size of an applied force exceeds the strength of an object, it will collapse. So if I push with a high enough force on this poorly constructed wall, it will collapse when the force exceeds the strength of the wall. We can measure the strength of a force using a Newton spring balance, and we use the Newton as the unit of measurement of the strength of the force. To get a feel for the size of a Newton, hold an average sized apple in your hand and you will feel a force of approximately one Newton due to its weight. When you are trying to imagine the size of a force, try picturing in your mind the equivalent weight of apples. For example, I weigh approximately 700 Newtons, so you can think of that as a weight of 700 apples. That is a lot of apples. Oh dear, the strength of the netting holding the apples wasn't able to support the force of 700 newtons. You should now be able to explain that as a result of this force exceeding the strength of the netting, the netting failed, with the apples falling to the ground. Well I hope you enjoyed this video, and you now understand the concept of force. So from me, Professor Mack, until next time, all the best. Bye.